Good morning, everybody. Um, or afternoon, or evening, whatever it is, whatever time it is, wherever you are. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Um, so I said I was going to be doing a YouTube series on the admission process in here and in other countries too. For those of you that have subscribed, um, that have watched all them, all of my other videos, thank you so 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 much. I am really really grateful and I appreciate you guys. So please make sure to um. Turn on your post notification. Make sure to like these videos. Um, also try to um share with your other friends so there could be people that need this information. Thank you. So let's jump right into the video. Firstly, um admission processing in every country is different, basically. So um most of the time I'm going to be focusing on United States of America. Except um anybody wants me to like do a separate video for Canada or UK or any other country, but basically some of them are the same in terms of the fact that some of them have free applications in terms of the fact of documents that you have to submit. So I have three segments here. Basically, the first segment is for people that are still in secondary school. People that are still in high school, basically. So, um, if you know that you're you're going to want to study abroad, then there are certain things that you could actually start doing right now that you're still in secondary school to boost up your chances of being accepted and having a um a scholarship option. So the first thing is um, there's a program organized by Yale Young African um Scholars. That's the name of the program. YYS organized by Yale University. So. They do it every single year in January, but the application comes out around um, August to November, August to December. So you have to um, February 15th of the next year to submit the application. Then the admission comes out by April and then you go for the program in July. But because of COVID-19 protocols and all of that, they are doing it online. And I'm currently um, a YYAS mentor so for those of you that would have more questions on that, um, please make sure to comment down below. I'll be glad to speak with you. Another thing is for that Yale Young African Scholars Program, okay, I'm just going to call it YYS because that name is long. So YYS is a pre-university program of, of just 10 days. Do you understand? So if you're still in secondary school, so they are looking for students between the age of 14 to 18, basically. So you still have to be in secondary school to be able to do that. So you should have one year of secondary school left or maybe two years of secondary school left, depending on your age and depending on how much capacity they believe that you have. So um, if you're, that's for people in SS2 and SS1, SS3 students can apply, yes, 10 and 11 can apply, yes, 12, you can't apply for these programs because they want to be sure that you're still going back to secondary school. I the things that they teach you there are the things that are going to, to apply for university by the time you get to SS3 or year 12. That is why you cannot apply. So basically, they teach you how to apply to schools in America. Basically, they just tell you about everything. And then there are different programs. Like when I went for the program in 2018, um, we had like pre-university lectures just to see how university was. Um, there were some schools, like a university fair was going on on a day before we left. So there were a lot of universities that came. They gave us flyers and all of that. So like, and they already taught us what to expect, the kind of essays to write. And they even started coaching us for SAT within those 10 days. So I would advise that if you're still in secondary school, Please look up those options. I'll try to drop the links for all of these things below. But if I end up not drop, dropping them, or even if I drop them and you still have more questions, please comment down below. I'll be glad to answer them. The second option is um African Leadership Academy or African Leadership University, one of them. Basically, there's one in Rwanda, there's one in South Africa. So I'll try to get the one that I think it's okay, but so I didn't apply to any of those countries because of my parents and the safety and all of that. But I think it's pretty safe now because um, I have friends that went there and I have friends that are still going there. So basically, it's a two-year program. 
once you're done there they automatically help you transfer to another school here in the u.s to complete your two years or to complete your four years so you could it's like you doing your a levels but then once you do your a levels like one year this is like two years basically so they, they base you on your score and all of that so i'm going to try and get more information on that one but all of these things have applications to understand the Yale Young African Scholars application is free. You just have to click the link and apply. So the one for 2022 has closed because um admission decision to be coming out in April. So basically, I want people to know this. If you are accepted to the Yale Young African Scholars program, you are not accepted to Yale University. Please don't assume that you are accepted to Yale University. You still have to apply to your university if that is where you want to go to. Do you understand? So I'm saying this for people not to be unconfused just because it's organized by Yale University because I was pretty confused at the point. So um, there's so many are like, come on, can you see it? Yes. So I still have it. People are like, cause I still keep everything. Basically, so um, the second option is for people that have graduated from secondary school now. Now, that is what I'm going to be focusing more on because I know that right now um, in a lot of countries, education is very, very uncertain, especially in Nigeria with the strike and all of that. And some people not even meeting up with the JAM or the UTME um, cut off marks. So firstly, I went to Landmark University for one year. So... I know how the school system runs and all of that, but I still kept on applying. So basically, I started applying from when I was in secondary school. After I went for the um, Young African Scholars Program, after they told us everything there, when I came back home, because I went to Ghana for mine, there wasn't Corona there. So um, I started applying, and my classmates, all of us started applying. Like, my school had like they supported us a lot in that aspect we were told to keep on applying and then our teachers were writing recommendation letters they were compiling transcripts our sports everything all those kind of things so i know you are like what are they looking for what are the schools going to be asking in the um for the application and all of that so firstly your transcripts your transcripts is compilation of all your results in your secondary school and it is very paramount, guys. Very, very paramount. Because the fact is that it's not all schools that will base your application on your transcripts. But most schools will do that if you are going to be applying for a scholarship also. Like, if they want to consider you for a scholarship. You understand? So, I'm still talking to people that are in secondary school. You still have the chance to work work on your school results very well. Like, make sure you have A's. Make sure you have B's. I'm not saying C is bad, but then you can't be having C and somebody that has A comes, both of you will not be expecting the same amount of scholarship. It might happen because of your other things and because God, God is a miracle worker. So anything could happen, but still try, like I said, do your best and leave the rest for God. Make sure you are you are studying, make sure you are, but please don't overwork yourself to the point that if you don't now get an A, you are now feeling all sort of things you know all i'm trying to say is yes your transcript is important so your transcript you are going to need to submit your transcript then your yec results or your neco or your igcs you guys i'm not so sure if they accept neco yeah i didn't i don't i'm not seeing my neco results because i don't know i already left the school before the neco results even came out so but they told us we did well so that's the cocoa. And I was already in uni, so I was like, I don't even need it. But if you know that maybe that's the only thing your school writes, or that's the only thing you can get your hands on, please make sure to get your hands on them. Then also, there's a particular website that allows you to apply to multiple schools at once like that. So let me explain this thing. There are some schools that have their own application. And there are some schools that have common application common application is like a website where a lot of schools are on i think they have about 600 universities only for usa guys only for usa so um 
if you are going to, I would advise for you to use Common App because that means that you don't have to be submitting documents for this school. Then when you go to the next school, you now submit your document again. Once you go to commonapp.org, you log in, you create an account and all of that. It, it takes you step by step through it too. So um, the thing is you need to go to the school's website, read all of their instructions, read whether they accept Common App, read whether they, they want you to have extra essays, read all the documents, all the requirements. Most schools put their requirements on their website. So if you want to know if you're on the school's website, it always has .edu at the end, always. You understand, like the name of the school, then .edu. Don't go and be reading information from other people's websites, other people's blog. Go to the actual school. Go to the department that you want to apply to. So some sites will even tell you they are offering your course. And when you start applying, you find out that they're not even offering your course and all of that. So I would advise before you open your common app account guys go to the school's website so i myself there are some schools that i know that they are capable of giving you a fully funded scholarship when i say fully funded i mean like your tuition your accommodation your feeding um living experiences i think some include your tickets fees also i'm not too sure but all of these also depend on your transcript, your work results. So yes, your school teachers have to write your recommendation letter for you guys. At least three. And I know that Common App always makes sure that people submit the recommendations because some schools, I think that's the highest that a school can ask you for. So just to be on the safe side. So you need three recommendation letters from teachers that are actually teaching you. Understood. Not that you can't get from teachers that have not taught you but they know you better they can write things about you better that is the third thing you need if you um if you do sports like if you participate in any kind of sports guys go to your sports teacher let him write a letter let him um submit your certificate and all of that those things are important there are sports scholarship here there are merit scholarships there are a lot of scholarships that if you don't even research, you won't even know. So every single thing, if it's arts and crafts, if you draw, start compiling your paintings, guys. You can submit a portfolio. If you can sing, start compiling it. This you can submit anything, guys. Artistry, carpentry, everything. All those trades of it that they make us do in school. They're important, guys. If you actually can do something other than academics, please make sure to include it on your application. Eh? It gives you the edge. So if you are still in secondary school, get into those clubs, get into those activities, start learning how to do things. Even if it's coding, put it there. Even if you are not yet good, put it there. Beginner, put it there. Explain. Like They want to know you sell yourself to the school, basically. Do you understand? There's always a segment for some irrelevant things, but after I finished applying, I happened that those things are pretty relevant. Like, awards if if your school gives certificate my school they have like this merit system that they do so if your school do um does that please drop it so i was sent of the year i was sent of the term i was um the what was that word again yeah i won the founders award all of those things please compile them compile them don't just think uh, because they gave you best in maybe um what was that subject there's one subject that and like if you think the subject is not useful put it there like put it best to go with the dates everything those things are important but don't just put fake things also because they will make sure to actually verify from your school so don't go and lie you if you cannot play hockey don't put hockey if you can't play basketball don't put black basketball you can put all of those things as recreational if you do not want to play it here do you understand so if you know that you actually want to still continue playing sports here then that will determine the kind of school you look at soccer here and uh, i've been at football it's not the same here do you understand soccer and uh, football in nigeria is not the same thing here so don't go and put it football football they, i don't think they even play that sport here that's for the uk here is their soccer is different their football is different do you understand 
So let us be clear, dear boys and some girls. Let us be clear. You can put it, you understand. But don't think you are coming to play it here because it's very, very the game is different. Like they didn't even use leg to play here. So let's start from there. And that's what they are calling their own football or soccer. So you need to know that there's basketball, there's volleyball, there's swimming, there's track. For those of you that can run, there's track and field. Like if you do anything, add it. If you if you know that you you are a very very good influencer, put it, put your portfolio. They even want to know your Instagram handles. Like if you like you're a content creator, all those kind of things, put it in your application, guys. Please set like give them a reason why they should be looking at your application. Do you understand? Because they're looking at a lot of people's application from different places, and why should they accept you? Do you understand? It's not a scary thing. No? Me that says that security, I'm always scared. So let's get that right. Mm? So I've said like some of the documents that they um they can ask for, they will ask for. Oh, some schools ask you for essays. Do you understand your essay? Make it superb. They will give you like a list of topics, like seven prompts, which are called topics, but they are called prompts here. So mm-hmm. So, pick something that you know you could actually relate to, you could actually write about. For me, I wrote about my family, do you understand? I wrote about my experiences as the only girl, all those things, do you understand? Like, and whatever you write on, try and link it to how it is important to your life. Like, how has that thing helped you? That thing you're writing about, how has it helped you? Like, there's a particular problem that I know is always there, like give an event that you know has changed your life or changed how you view things or more even if it is beaten that is the event put it there they like they want to know these things do you understand i wrote about the birth of my little brother as in a whole essay about some of the shy that's what i wrote eh? and then my second essay was about africa and how women blah 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 when allowed to go to school in some places how young girls are getting married but don't go and turn to a uh, patriot in the essay. Put your own jar, like your own fissy, like put it. Maybe you yourself, they did not allow you to go to school for a while. Put it. Those are your experiences. Do you understand? Those are your experiences. And I, I'm, I'm going to say that if you do makeup, like there's, there's a particular problem that says, what's one thing you do that you just forget the time? Maybe it's playing music. Maybe it's making hair. All those things, put it and put the portfolio. If you cannot combine a portfolio, portfolio is basically all of your work in one place. Hmm? So if you make it, you're taking the picture. If you're taking the picture. If it's a video, make it. If you know you are good to carpentry, all those things, add it to it. There are things that just give your application the difference. That that thought, that thought. Hmm? Nah. That different from everybody's application because don't forget that it's not only you, it's not only your country that's applying. Like there are a lot of things that they don't know about your country or about you people's belief system. So don't just assume that oh they know. They want to know. Even if they know, put it there. Is is from your own side, it's different. Put it. Do you understand? Don't feel like nothing is important, everything is important. Then your essay, try and make sure that. It's top notch. Like I don't even know. Make it superb. Don't use extra English that we both know you don't use on a normal day because some schools um require you to do an interview, and if you now go and put in big big grammar in your essay, and you come here and you are speaking normally, as in don't write the essay as if that's how you write on a normal day. Just write like me. Like I find writing essays hard. What are we writing? Like they were saying, put flair, put write, yes, write it straight up, like straight. I went to Kinikon, I came back today, but some people put it was raining suddenly, something, something. It depends on you, so you have to know your strengths. Do you get? Mm? Know your strength. So if your strength is academics. Focus on the academics, transcripts, awards, all of that. Even if you went for cover competition, put it any competition, even in debates inside your school, inside your hostel, put it. Do you understand? Put it with the date there. Yes, 
there's a long space for you to fill. So any everything and anything is important. This is for people that want to do undergraduate. Do you understand? I'm really going to focus on that because I know that the Lord has blessed me with a lot of knowledge in that aspect. After struggling for two years, while well, yeah, to the glory of God, why is come? Tell me to praise my God. It's not me, it's him. Because like even me, I know say you know easy. But it's we we roll like that. Mm? So those are the documents you'll be needing. Do you understand? If there are still like other documents, I'll try and list it down. So that's for USA. Some schools here in USA also require you to write two for an IELTS. Yes. I didn't write any of that. Mm. Let, let me be truthful, I didn't. Because who is going to pay money when we are still looking for fully funded scholarship at schools that don't have application fee? So that is where I'm now going to go into how to search for these schools, how to know what, the, what all these schools are asking for and all of that. Mm. So each school has its preference. He, um, each school has its strength. Do you understand? If you know that you want to do something related to science, type it out. Don't limit yourself to engineering. Here, there's engineering and business. There's engineering and computer science. There's engineering and mathematics. So that's what I'm saying. Just like the department, engineering, search it out. Schools offering engineering undergraduate degrees in USA. Mm -hmm. When they bring it out, you guys, go, don't now start reading from the site that brought it out. Go to the school's website and read. Go to the school's website under academics. You will see all their courses. So what you want to study is called major here in US. Major. The minor is like, if you want to add Jara for our FISCO, if you want to add Jara, that's what the minor is. But a major is the normal four years or five years something. Do you understand me? So for that, you have to go to the school's website to read it up. Some tell you that, oh, um, they offer fast track. Fast track is if you want to just do three years and get out. Some, they have five years course. That means you do your bachelor's and your master's in five years. Some, like... You have to go to the school and read those things to know which one is best for you before you even apply. So just now apply and not come back and be busy. I'm like, oh, yeah, I would have done this. So, eh? There's different options. There's engineering. Like when I came here, I was seeing all sorts of things, all sorts of courses that are so beautiful and interesting that I would have loved to do. But for Nigeria, it's either you are doing accounting or you are not doing accounting. Do you get like now? I'm seeing forensic accounting, I'm seeing actuarial accounting, I'm seeing what is how I make sure to read under those courses so you will know if those are actually things that you would like to do to you get and then have an email. You can send them emails like there's contact us on that they want you to do the, to do all those things. They will send you emails, you ask your questions. Tell them what you need, all those things. They will gladly reply. You don't be scared that, oh, if I ask, they would now use it not to accept me. Uh -uh, everything is departments here. Yeah. The people are showing you annoying admissions. So even if they are, it didn't differ. Hmm? It didn't differ because of the fact that you are actually inquisitive to get. So that's how to search for schools. Then on that same school's website, once you've gotten the course you want, go to admissions. It's always there. There's always a tab admissions. International, guys. Don't joke with this thing. If you are not a citizen, a resident, you are an international student. A freshman is a first-year student. A sophomore is a second-year student. Not 200 level. Junior, 300 level. Senior, 400 level. Don't go and confuse yourself and select junior. That's what we want to do transfer, which I'll still be doing a video on. So the next thing is that um when you go to the international, some schools will tell you that oh they are freshman 
and the, their citizens and their international students use the same application process. Good for you. Continue with the school. Mm -hmm. But some will tell you that oh, international students have to use the common app. International students should not use social so -so application. Do you get there's the common app, there's a coalition app, there's a quest bridge app. I use common app, app. the coalition and the quest bridge. I haven't really used them. So if any of you like want me to do a separate video on common app, please comment down below. Like any video, I will do it. Okay. Uh -huh. Sensible video, people of God. And please make sure to share with your friends. A lot of people need this information. Do you get? And I, I hated it when I would reach out to people and they'd be like, oh, so, subscribe to this class and pay so so. Oh, you have to wait so 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 time. Or oh, you have to pay Kinnikov and Nikon. I'm here looking for scholarship. It's actually pay. Do you get? So another thing is most schools will tell you if they have application fee for international students. That's why I'm saying you should go on the international. Some don't have application fee for international students. Some have application fees. That one is not your business if you are using common app. Your counselor or your principal can write a fee waiver for you. You get a fee waiver letter explaining that you cannot pay the application fee. See, another thing I want to bring to the to the um, kidney is if you know that you can actually pay the application fee and you know the school you want to apply to, I know it will not buy your family, Lara. Please, us, people like us that we know we can't pay the application fee, give a no space. I haven't seen when they've rejected fee waivers, though. But once you use it on common app, you can apply to all schools, whether you have application fee or not. As an international student, you can apply. So far, your um counselor or your principal has dropped the application fee waiver for you. So that's one more document that you need to make sure that right for you and submit to you get so moving on from application fees i think i just touched that briefly so it's from the school's website to get all this information do you get so i'm just giving you general stuff like there are some schools that i know that like off my head basically i want to really i'm not mentioning any tickets but because it might, the school might not be offering your course. And I know people people just rush and go and do these things without actually researching. You too, you have to do your own part and let God show himself. Research, guys. Go to the school's direct website. Don't go and be reading from blogs. Blogs are people's thoughts. Even if you watch YouTube video, make sure the person is actually a student of that school. And knows this process. It's me, I have people in different schools. You get like a lot of friends. So if I mention some schools, I know the process because I, I want not to try it. You get, I applied to a lot of schools within two years. So don't even joke with me. We are not your mates. It's two years your mates. I was still in school, but it's two years your mates. Two years of application. It's two years your mates. <laughs> when you start writing and saying, you will know who's mate is who. Mm -hmm. So another thing is if you use common app, most schools use the same essay that common app will give you to write. So that's why I'm saying common app, common app. Common app is not stressful, guys, and it is free. It is free. Mm -hmm. What else am I supposed to talk about? Okay, so now you will go to cost and aid under admission. There's cost and aid for international students. There's something called the aid calculator. Please don't use it. It doesn't apply to you because... You are not paying the same amount. There are some schools that are need blind. That means they, they see everybody as the same, whether you're city or international student, then you can use the calculator. But there are some schools that definitely separate international student. And I trust me, a lot of schools, almost all schools do. And it's not a bad thing. The other thing is just know that your school fees, everything feeding will accommodation will be around forty thousand dollars upwards as in forty thousand forty thousand yes dollars us dollars mm -hmm. so you need to know whether the schools give full scholarship it depends on what you are looking for now partial scholarship um what else some don't even give scholarship to international students at all so that's why i'm saying you should read these things don't go and apply that is to pay no i tell you about applying i'm like oh they don't give scholarship i'm like application to waste. Worse is now when they accept you and you know you cannot go. Mm. Nothing to pain. So you have to go and read on that. I'm going to do a whole video on 
scholarships and all of that so this is just like intro hmm? just for me to see how you guys like this video so if you do please make sure to like please make sure to comment make sure to share make sure to subscribe what else let's see because i'm new to this thing turn on your post notifications and then please 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 make sure to share these videos and comment like ask questions i am going to reply to every single one of them as the lord wishes so please because mm, let's all respect ourselves and please make sure to share with your friends this video is free guys yes because like no but i watched videos on youtube but it wasn't as detailed as this it wasn't as personal as this and i'm going to still be dropping a lot of videos you will have to be able to shine as we're doing it small small hmm? Hmm? good thank you once again my name is Ayoban Bakari um see you guys in my next video so um another thing is turn on your post notification i might be dropping a bunch of videos in a single day do you guess so you'll be able to know when i drop them but mostly i would be dropping videos on tuesdays and thursdays not only on admission like vlogs this whole school thing you have to get you sold in camera up and down so People like us that were shy outside, but we are crazy inside. We are definitely getting used to it. So, um, I also drop cooking videos too. Mm -hmm. So, as international students here yeah, that were still looking for some African stuff, we'll be cooking what we see. Eh? So, I'm going to make boli in my next video. Mm -hmm. I found granules. People of God, I found granules. So, the last time I made boli, there was no granules. Mm -hmm. So, we had to use sauce. So I'm going to make sauce and I'm also going to make granules. Not necessarily make granules. We didn't know how to make it. Buy the granules. The plantain is already here. Yeah, it's already chilling. So in my next video, I'm going to be um, making body and also just gisting with you guys. And if any of you like want me to come on live and do some information session that you could ask questions directly, I'll gladly do that. Um also what else did I want to say? I wanted to say that if you know people that want to do these things, like admissions, and they don't want to go through the whole processing, I do admission processing for people. That one you pay. But this one, if you're doing it yourself, the Lord help you and be with you. And I pray that every single person's application will be successful. It is possible. I know it is because my God. So I'm a miracle worker. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Make sure to subscribe. And also, guys, I will be dropping my Instagram very soon so you can follow me. But I, didn't, I don't really use to post like that. So that's why I don't want to drop it. And now it seems like I'm not doing anything. But if you want me to drop it, that's your wish. I'll be about, your wish is our command. I'm generally not a funny person, guys. I am not a funny person. I'm a very serious minded child. Eh? Very serious minded child. Remember, Jesus loves you. And also, I'll be dropping my emails for companies that want to do collabs and schools and, like, information session. Yes, information session. I do all of those. But if you want a private information session, I will do it for you as per student. But as a school, I'm doing the first one free. But the second one, you pay. Hmm? If you're a school in Ikotu or any of those rural areas, I'm doing it free for all schools there, especially for that Young African Scholars program. If you are definitely interested in that, I will do a video on all of that too. I just don't want to rush the videos and make it extra long. It's already long. I'm sorry. It's already long. Mm -hmm. And then another thing is, I also want to make sure that people are getting this information. So I'll just um segment the videos as the Lord helps me because this editing safe. We see they we see they try our best. Also, guys, make sure to show your parents, okay? People, like, make sure to show them, carry them along, because they're your supporters in this thing. I know some parents, they, they didn't carry the vibe. Do it on your own. God is with you. Holy Spirit is with you. Jesus is with you. He's on your side. If nobody else is on your side, I'll see you here. And if you are here already, let's link up. Comment down. Love you guys. Bye.